All right, here we go with the second tutorial on encaustic, starting with a five by seven piece of wood, 89 cents. Bought it at Michael's. Took it out into my garage and drilled two holes about three quarters of an inch in, eh, maybe a half inch in, and down on both sides. We'll need those for later. And then taking some RNF encaustic gesso, I apply two to three coats of the encaustic gesso onto the wood, and it's especially made gesso that can handle the heat. We'll be using RNF encaustic medium, heated at 165 degrees or so, and you may only see two coats here, but I put three coats down and completely fused the encaustic in between each coat. Taking a square punch and some old books, Bibles, and hymnals, cut up a bunch of squares, and I'm going to apply Yes Paste to the back of them, and then arrange them onto the board. Twelve altogether. And um, I'm going to apply the encaustic medium here over the top. We do two complete coats that are fused completely in between and the wax is also cooled slightly between each coat. Same thing here, just another coat over the top and then uh, you can see when I hold it up what it looks like before it's fused. And then I'm going to fuse it completely all right, then taking some uh, Tim Holtz pre-printed tissue, going to cut out a butterfly. Love his tissues. Cut it out completely, and um, because the wax is still a little bit warm, I can pretty much cut it out and then push it right down onto the wax. Not super hard, but just kind of burnishing it down. I don't use any yes paste or anything to put it down, although I suppose I could. Just make sure I get it where I want it and burnish it down with my fingers a little bit and it's good to go. So two coats of encaustic medium over the top, this one, and I'm going to fuse it. And I'm going to do the same thing again because I want a lot of layers that uh, I'll be able to incise into. And I don't want to incise them and hit the paper. So a couple of coats will do it. I probably tend to err on the skimpy side. I should be more generous. But it works. Now in order to make some marks, I'm just pushing some of my stamps into the wax, which is not completely cooled. If it's too cool, then you won't get it printed. You'll have to push really hard. You also don't want the wax too warm or you will pull it up and it will get on the rubber of your stamp. But I just want to make marks all over the place um, to add interest to the piece once I add the pigment, the oil uh, paint pigment sticks. All right, pretty happy with that. And now I'm just gonna take um, a sharp little clay tool instrument and I'm gonna incise around each square. I'm not trying to be accurate with the uh, incising. I want it to kind of look like it doesn't quite fit. The squares I have double lines in some places. Uh, the wax is pretty cool at this point because if you try to incise into the wax when it's too warm, it will kind of fold in on itself. And then taking an RNF um, burnt umber pigment stick, I am going to apply, this is oil paint, okay, so I'm going to apply the oil paint all over the incised marks with a stiff bristled brush to really get the pigment inside those incised lines. And 
there it is, covered completely, and then using a soft um, cotton cloth, I'm going to rub all that out. Yeah, like that. With a little bit of linseed oil, you can take more of the oil uh, pigment stick out. So just applying a little bit of linseed oil to the cloth cleans it up quite nicely. You can see the additional marks that were made as well. Uh, next, I'm going to use Pan Pastels, my new favorite art supply. Uh, powdery pastels with a little applicator here and I'm just going to go along the edges and then it's it's really important to um, burnish it in with your finger or you can put a glove on or a cotton cloth whatever I just use my finger to go all around the edges and any other place where I want that you can mix these colors really nicely as well they fuse right into the encaustic medium Alright, this has to be fused in with the heat gun, but you don't want to do it too much. It's really easy to um, blow it off the sides, so just until you see it get a little bit shiny, that will fuse the pan pastels right into the encaustic. Oh, love that. Alright, now with a little bit of pearl, Perfect Pearl Ranger paint. This is acrylic based paint. I'm going to mix it up with some water and highlight the butterfly as well as the edges and because the wax is uh, it's mostly cool but it's got a little bit of the oil um, on it the color doesn't quite apply but I like that I just want it to kind of touch here and there I'm not looking for a real thorough coat I wipe a lot of it off so that the light just catches it and it glistens really nicely can wipe off any excess with a little bit of a damp cloth. I want to take off that little edge of the wing with my X-Acto blade here before we go any further. I've printed out uh, what I want to put the words at the bottom. Just printed it out on a little uh, thick paper and I'm going to cut it apart and then ink the edges with my color box black ink pad. Just go around all, all around the edges. I like the way that looks. And I'm going to use the... I, I have done it where I've softened the wax and then kind of pressed it in and gone over it with the encaustic medium and it worked, but I'm not feeling that risky today, so I'm just going to use the Yes Paste and apply the words to the bottom right where I want them. And then taking another one of my clay um, tools, I'm just going to shave or try to <laughs> shave the extra wax that has gone over the edge off all around the edges until I uh, so I don't go any further here until I do that sometimes it pulls a little bit of wax from the face of the piece and you have to go back in with a little bit of the pan pastel then remember the holes we drilled at the beginning? Let's poke those through the wax again. I like to take apart my um, well-used sketchbooks and use the wire from them. So that's what I've done here and I've just snipped off a piece and I'm going to shove it in the back first and then just wrap the wire over the top. Uh, make sure the wax dries because you can dig right into it if it's still wet or warm. There we go. Now it's hangable. I'm going to fuse those little holes just a bit, um, heat the wax so I can press that wax back in where it's popped out just a little bit. I want it to look nice and neat in the front. Now 
And then finally, you have to splatter, always have to splatter, so just add a little excess water and some tap some of the gold pearl paint onto the front. And she's done. She can fly now. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch.